Hey, partner, where'd you get them boots? Come on down to Boot Complex with the best deals in town for all your boots needs. We've got hunting boots, cowboy boots, army boots, rain boots, work boots, motorcycle boots, and much more. This weekend only, Honey. come on down to Boot Complex to buy a pair of the right boots and get a pair of boots. Get out, get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Fucking foot off me, try it! <laughs> Hurry your fucking ass, will you? Jesus. I know you're hurt. Come on, stay with me. Stay with me, Tommy. Step away from the vehicle! Let me see your hands! Hey friend, my associates and I would like to charter an afternoon flight. What's he doing? Where are you going? Shut up. There's not enough fuel in the tank. Get us up in the air!
update on the rollover crash in La Choya Air Park this morning. All four suspects are still on the run and are more than likely connected to the death of five Tucson police officers and the hijacking of a plane. So what will be? Omelette, Swiss, green peppers, bacon, rye toast, kettle potatoes, and bring on the chaloo. You got it, Easy Rider. Ah, oh, you can't be fucking serious. Jack, keep your voice down. I don't care who hears me. I'm not canceling last minute like this. Besides, I know what kind of guys Susie goes with, and I don't want you anywhere near those scumbags. Jack. I know what you girls get up to. And I've already taken time off. I, I can't not do that. Jack, I can't miss this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you sure fucking can. How do you always gotta do this to me? It's fucking horse shit. How about not talking to the lady that way? Excuse me? How about not talking to the lady that way? <laughs> I will talk however the fuck I want to talk, asshole. I'm sure you always do. But uh, all of us out here with manners who hear you, we talked it over and we all think you're an idiot. Check In a way, yes. Uh, I was rounding third on this omelet here, and uh, here. Take a peek under these eggs. Jesus. Turns my stomach, honey. I am so sorry. I gotta go yell at someone in the back. The check, of course, is on us. I am so sorry. How about a piece of pie for the road? There's a question you don't have to ask me twice. You want to finish what you started? Friend, if it means talking to you any further, I'll have to pass. Hey, talking to you. Who the fuck you think you are? Spider-Man. But you caught me on my day off. <laughs> my backpack, faggot. Look, man, how about letting me take my pie and be on my way? How's that sound? I don't like what that sounds. You shouldn't have messed with me, man. Oh, yeah? Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 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 
Really? Cows off that pasture here. Oh, okay, so we're clean. Well, we're hoping it keeps smoking a little fire. Our luck can be nothing. Die hard this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm in it for the adventure. Of course, yeah. I got an adventure ahead of me. Got a shitload of barbed wire in there. It's a four hour job. Alrighty then, gentlemen, you gotta go see about fence. Uh, sure. see you.
Well,
Great job. Step on another, partner. All right, come on over here. Are you? Do you have keys? <laughs> Worst part's over, fellas. Not saying it's gonna be smooth sailing from here on out, but I'd say rattling around some little cracker box half a mile off the ground is the worst part of any day. Hold on. Ungar and I are gonna head out. You stay here with, uh... what's your name, Captain? Me? You're the one flying the plane. Uh, Gary. Gary. Gary, Gary. All right. <laughs> you stay here with Gary, Gary, and the dead weight. Ungar and I are gonna check out the homestead. Leduc, th these bullet holes are, are fucking filthy. He, ne he needs water. And I need him not to have gotten shot in the fucking face. And I need you to have driven us to safety, like what a getaway driver is supposed to fucking do. Ungar, let's go! Oh, shit. Cunt. Cunt. Listen. I know you got a problem with the way I handled this. Oh, I'm too old for this shit, LaDuke. This is on you, mate. Oh, come on, man. I got us here alive, didn't I? All right. Okay, stay put. But listen, cell phone's for shit out here. I'm gonna scope it out. And as soon as I see a landline, I'm calling Riker in Denver. Pretty sure he's gonna wanna hear about a case full of first editions. And I'm fucking positive that he's got the capital. And if he's not interested, I'm calling Bentley or Slick Mick. But we got options, baby. I'm not worried about the money. Don't call Reichardt first. Call Slick Mick, mate. <laughs> 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 Don't know whether to shoot you or thank you. On a count of three, you're gonna drop to your knees and put them hands in that bumper right in front of you, right where I can see them. One, two, three. All right. Now I want you to turn around. Stay on your knees, and all the while, I want you to keep them hands up, palms out. Afternoon. I'm a stowaway. I uh, hopped in back your pickup truck outside the supply store at Sierra Vista. I mean you no harm. I was only running from a little trouble. And? And? Why don't you just ask for a ride? Trouble was right behind me, ma'am. I didn't have time to ask. Now I'm just trying to get back on the road. I did not mean to come all the way out here to your home, ma'am. So that's why you're looking to steal my rig? I'm not looking to steal it. I just need a ride back to town. Happy to be on my way, ma'am, honest. All you gotta do is point me in the right direction and I am gone. Really, I can disappear like that. I've been doing it all my life. I'm kind of an expert at it. All right, cool hand. Go ahead and stand up. Okay. You're a good guy in a bad situation. Let's say I buy it. How do we get you back to where you belong? You let me give 30 minutes of TLC to your truck here, and you could take me back to town by sundown. You could even stand there and watch me the whole time if you want. Just, uh, don't shoot me. Don't worry. This gun can't hurt you. You can put your hands down. We can head back to Tucson once you fix her up. But I ain't driving. 
I ain't sticking around to watch you fix her neither. I seen this plane fly over. Silver goddamn bullet. Must have touched down pretty close, less than a mile, I'd say. That means it landed on my property. And that means I gotta do the right thing and make sure everybody's safe and all is well. Still, you gotta be careful. Hey, girl. Guess I'm earning my keep around here after all. Yes, sir. She sure seems like a good old gal. Now this gun can hurt you. Tell you what, if I can't fix your truck, you can shoot me. How's that for a guarantee? I get a feeling about people. Can usually get a pretty accurate read in five, 10 minutes. And if I can't fix her, at least she's got some pretty solid tires. Don't prove me wrong. Off the ground, come on. Where you come, Frank? Here you go. Go. No, Tom. Tom, I can't. I can't. I can't take care of you by myself. I need him. It's kind of close, bro. Come on. Just breathe, just breathe, okay? how to drive them. Oh, yeah? You sure about that? Oh, yeah? Well, what the fuck happened, LeDuc? Huh? Nothing can go wrong. We're gonna be in and out drinking tequila at sunset in Phoenix, huh? Does that ring any bells? Hundred grand each by sunset. What the fuck happened? They got to Harry. Must have. <laughs> and how do you know that? If there were police involved, they got to him. Trust me. I don't trust you. That's the thing, okay? Well, good for you. So, so what? So what? You're just gonna make some phone calls and, and you're gonna get us out of here, is that it? Yes. This sort of thing may not be in your wheelhouse, McBride, but it is what I do. You think Harry's the only one in the business? And let's be clear, 
We each got a hundred grand sitting in that plane in a brown case. And I'll tell you something else. We'd each have 133 grand if it wasn't for that sack of shit. I'm not just gonna let him fucking die here, okay? Oh, come on, man. He's not gonna make it. Look at his face. And what the hell are we gonna do about it all the way out here? Yeah, well, Harry can go fuck himself. I know it's a tall order, but look, look what you stand to gain. You see? Yeah, I don't know. Somewhere in Arizona? Well, listen. We'll be in Mexico by sundown, 100%. Look, the table's set, man. You want in on this or not? I can make a call to Bentley tomorrow. We're back in business. Big time. Yeah, what's that supposed to mean? We got our money. And then some. Y'all just needed to have a little faith in old Duke. He'll take care of you. Yeah, well, I need to take care of him right now. I don't give a shit about the, the money. Oh. Get the fuck down! this activity today, you'd think I'd taken out a full-page color in the Desert Herald. Advertising this place is a goddamn bed and breakfast. Just look like a bed and breakfast to you fellas. No ma'am. No ma'am indeed. Hope you don't mind my not offering to bring out the IST and me requesting your story. The shortest, plainest, truest version of how you came to be here armed and trespassing on my land. Ma'am, my name is Raymond Fuchs, and I want to offer a sincere apology for inconveniencing you like this. You see, my, my friend Peter and I, we, we chartered a flight to do some hunting. Quail and pheasant mostly. And, and wouldn't you know it, en route, our plane suffered some major engine trouble, and we had to do an emergency landing right over the horizon there. And on our way down, we saw your house. We thought maybe there was a phone line or some assistance to be had. Hunting pheasant and quail? 
Those weapons are pretty tactical for pheasant and quail. You don't say. <laughs> well, we're sort of new this thing. I mean, so how about it, ma'am? We lay down our arms, maybe you could do the same. I mean, the quicker we can get a hold of someone, the, the quicker we can be out of your hair. All right, don't shoot her. Well, the truck's fucked, but good news. You were right about Slick Mick. Put it down, lady. Just real, real slow. Good to have you back, man. Oh, I got tired of waiting. G'day. All right, little house on the prairie. What time's your husband due back? Okay, your boyfriend. Oh, I see. You're one of those liberated ladies, aren't you? Homesteading it out here all by her lonesome. You don't need no man to get the job done. Am I right? Up you go, big fella. <laughs> Inside? Inside? Cochise County. If it means anything to you. How close to Mexico? About 20 miles. Oh, yeah, what's the word on that truck outside? That's your plan A. You might want to consider a plan B. Look, you don't understand. I'm going to take care of your friend there. I'm a registered yeah, nurse. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're a nurse. We get that. The only problem with your logic is he is most definitely not our friend. Now, is there anyone else that lives around here? No. Oh, yeah? What about that big old house over there? That's where I used to live when I had a family. Now I live here. You throw. Now listen up. Get the rubbing alcohol and whiskey from under the sink. He's got a bunch of glass deep in his face. You. Make him drink more water. Get him ibuprofen. And somebody boil some goddamn water. Let's go outside. Do a perimeter check. Let's not trust the old fucking bitch. Look, man, I think she's telling the truth. When me and that McBride asshole came up, we didn't see anyone over that way or anywhere. All right, so listen. We're not doing a bloody perimeter check, mate. We've got a problem. They're looking south, they're coming right at us. And we got a 36-foot getaway plane in plain fucking sight. The south is a big place, okay? They're not gonna know exactly where we're at. It's fucking close enough. Okay, well, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I got a fucking solution. Yeah? Del Rio, Texas. What? It's a border crossing built right on a goddamn dam. The Rio Grande River. Slick Mick was telling me all about it. Anytime he needed something brought into the US, that's where it went down. <laughs> I'm not buying that, mate. Well, neither do I, man, but it's a plan, you know? Something to hang our hat on. All we need to do is get our asses the last 20 miles to Mexico tonight. What's your name? Aaron. Aaron? Need you to go wash your hands? What's wrong with him? There we go. Just a lot of pain. Okay. I got a job for you. I need you to take this, tie the sleeves together to make a sling for his arm. What's his name? Tommy. Tommy. 
Listen up. Your brother's making a sling for your arm. I gotta clean out the wounds on your face now. It's gonna really hurt. What about the lady? We just try up and leave it some food. I guess we don't need a killer. We just need a head start, mate. Gary, Gary, you're up next. He dead yet? Oh, shit! You did it, Gary, Gary! You did it. This is not a good idea. Regular unleaded gasoline is too low octane for aviation. The chances of vapor lock are too high. What does vapor lock mean? Fuck, divine eye. It'll get us in the air. They don't believe you. That's what they're talking about right now. They don't believe me what? None of it, not that you don't live alone, not that no one else is coming along, nothing. I suppose you all didn't believe me either when I said I could fix up your brother here. You, do you think he's, he's gonna die? Maybe. We'll buy him some time once I'm through here. As long as we get all this glass and buckshot out, he's gonna be just fine. You're in my light again. Those other fellas, you know them? What? Those other fellas you came here with. The older ones, you know them well? What's it, what's it to you? Nothing, I suppose. Just trying to make conversation. Been a while since I had to practice my bedside manner. Your what? Look, I don't know what you boys did or what you're running from, but if y'all land on the same page now, the immediate future don't look too bright. You think they're gonna kill him? They're bad men. I don't think they have your brother's best interest in mind. You want me to get that? All right. Stand up. Sit in the chair. Seriously? Sit in the chair. I think that's going to be your message. Oh, hi there, little lady. This is Sam here. And Billy, you know, your partner. The one in the car with you. Hey, that goddamn forest fire weren't nothing more than a blaze. We could have just peed on it. Anyway, we were thinking about stopping by on our way past your spread, maybe help you out with that wire fence. You maybe take some of your money at cards. Or maybe just knock back a couple of beers. Or 18. Uh -huh. See you soon, love you. Shut up. All right, El Capitan, upsy daisy. <sighs> oh, oh, shit, fuck me. Deja vu, huh, Gary Gary? Feels like it's been 10 years we've been through so much together. <laughs> in the hole, Gary, Gary, in the hole! Oh shit, what? 
You don't know where the keys are? You know, I don't know. Hold on. <laughs> just, just let me think. Gary, Gary. Fuck no. him, Mike. I know. Pool. Just give me a He's second. Gonna... Where are the come keys? Come on now. Hey, come here. No. Come here. <laughs> keys! Oh, motherfucker! <laughs> Got another one on deck. I must have dropped them on the way here. I swear I don't have them. What happened? Are we leaving? <laughs> this piece of shit sabotaged us. He hid the goddamn keys. I didn't take the keys! Shush, 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 shush. You took the keys. No, I didn't take them. How many times have I been telling you? I didn't. Where are the keys? Why do I have the keys? I want to get out of here as bad as I can. Go find them in the trunk. Go find them in the dirt. Find the place yourself. I don't know where the keys are. Maybe they're in your fucking ass. Uh, Dad, I think we should check your ass. What are you talking about? There's no fucking ass. Yeah, put the keys in my ass. What a great idea. Wait a minute. Can't we just hotwire the fucking plane? Oh, Jesus. You don't think I asked them that? I don't, I don't know. Just an idea. And what's with all this Grey's Anatomy shit? If you could do her job, why is she still breathing? I'm telling you, fellas, if I don't clean his face and change the bandages on the regular, he's going to get infected. Not much I can do at that point. Yeah, well, none of that matters. We got the FBI after us. We can't hide the plane. He's shot in the fucking face and we got no way out of here. What does that leave us? We got two hostages, two witnesses. Somebody called while you guys were gone. They, uh, they're like uh, park rangers or something. They said that they're gonna come and, and pay her a visit. What's he talking about? Got a couple of BLM ranger friends stop by from time to time. When are they coming? Didn't say. It's pretty casual around here, mister. Let me ask you a question. If you had a full tank of gas, where you'd be heading? Mexico? I can get you there through the canyon. I'm real familiar with the country around here. Oh, yeah? You got some magical flying carpet? Or are we each going to take turns dragging his ass across the fucking desert? Sounds good to me. Staying here is no good. You already know that. All right, everybody outside. Wait, he's not done. He needs more bandages. He's fine. Get out. Excuse me. Shut up. Wakey, wakey, Quasimodo. Uh. See this? <clears throat> Keep an eye on two of them, all right? All right? So what are we, we going to do? We're going we to carry, carry him through the canyon? No, you're, you're going to carry him. We, if you wait till he gets better, he can, he can walk. We don't have time to wait. we got to hoof it now. He's the reason we're in this shit. <sighs> Well, he, he's, he's still alive, the Duke. Yeah, I get that, but not for very long. Have you seen his face lately? It's a long fucking way. I don't want to carry this fucking, fucking brother. What else are we going to do? Fix a fucking truck. Do you know how to fix a truck? We're going to walk into Mexico. Wait, why is he trying to What if she just walks us to the border patrol? She's going to have to do it, man. She's going to leave the truck. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Yeah. If we want your opinion, we'll tell you. Camping in the you, desert. Camp, right. fucking, this is where all the boys tell you. Got it, look out. We just need to get to the fucking camp. No problem. What's wrong with this fucking truck? I don't know. Hey, listen, that's the last thing I need. That crap. How's that, Kevin? I'm just thinking. Smart off, okay? I'm trying to get it somewhere. Oh, Are you trying to get us somewhere? Here, let's do it. What the fuck? All right, here's the news. We're taking the old lady's advice. We're gonna hoof it through the canyon. What's your name, ma'am? Eden. Do you know the way to Mexico, Eden? Indeed I do. Correct me if I'm wrong, Eden. But I thought I heard some cattle roaming on your property. That's right. Where there's cows, there's horses. That's right, four of them. Horses. Four of them. Okay, hold on. We're seriously discussing this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry Mike. But do you think that's such a bad idea? Yes. Okay, well, what do you suggest we do? Hijack another fucking plane? That is the best plan I've heard all day. Says who? Says the soon-to-be corpse? 
It's so crazy, it might just work. You say crazy, you might be right. Yeah, okay, no! I give the orders here! Your fucking orders, mate, got us here! Right? She can get us out. Four horses, mate? That's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. There are bride boys here, you can have one, and there's one for each of us, right? You got keys to the house over the way? I do. Horses. Who do I ride with? Shut up. Listen to me. Snap out of it. A way out of here is just what we fucking need. And which of you idiots tied these fucking ropes? Take one guess. I was trying to make sure she didn't escape. Oh, is that right? It's a fucking mess, Boy Scout. Excuse me, guys. Who am I going to ride with? We're going to hogtie your cheese for your ass and drag you all the way there. How does that sound? Okay, all right. You, get up. You come to McBride, make sure she doesn't fuck with the horse. Not much to it, fellas. Just gonna throw some saddles on them, get some feed together. Smart, take a look at the shoes, though. Lady, just don't get it to you. We're in a hurry. Do the least amount you gotta fucking do. Fine. How long are we talking? Only 30 minutes. No, to Mexico. Too bad it will be there this time tomorrow. So, sundown tomorrow, we'll be drinking tequila, just like I said, McBride. Only Mexico instead of Phoenix. Hell, tequila with a dirty side of Mexican snatch? Crabs be damned. <laughs> hey, Eden, where can a guy get some rubbers on the way? Is there a 7-Eleven around here? Can't help you with that. Fuck, knock it off. Give us the keys, Toots. Nothing in there. This house I used to live at with my daughter. Oh, fuck. Lady, I'm really sorry to, you know, Walk all over you in a nostalgic trip here. But if you don't play ball, I'll knock the fucking door down and say, Give me the fucking keys now! That's better. Fucking bitch. 20 minutes, Dr. Quinn. And I'm holding you to that. This way. We got ourselves a plan then. Riding out on horseback into the sunset. But that's something you never thought you'd actually be doing for real now, is it? Guess not. You ever ride before? No. Well, not much to it. Teach you everything you need to know in no time. Come on now, baby. Scoot on over. There you go. Give it a rest, will ya? Horses, characters, and motherfucking rickshaws. Who's give a shit how we get there? That giant turd can't run the show like that, man. He's gonna start giving us orders. He's not giving us orders, mate. He just made a suggestion, which is a pretty fucking good one. Yeah, well, in my experience, you let a guy like that call a shot, he's gonna call another. <laughs> Look, all I know is when we get there, we're doing what I say, when I say, and nobody fucks with that. Right. All right? All right. And, and you think we're going to make it by tonight? Of course we will. 20 mile ride ain't shit. Hell, we've been camping on the range 20 days stretched before. So once we make it, concerns me. Which plans for after? Between you and me, I don't think those other fellas know much more about it than you. We'll just take it day by day. Hell, hour by hour, more like. Small goals. You think Tommy's gonna make it through the night? Of course he will. Artist head injuries go, it really ain't that bad, believe it or not. Must we clean his face again before nightfall? He'll be sitting for it. Take it easy, mate. You talk like we're already in Mexico. Yeah, well, there's a lot to do when we get there. Yeah, but let's get to Mexico first. There's still a lot to do here, too, you know. What are you talking about, Gary Gary? Mm. 
I'm talking about every fucking thing. The McBride idiot with the fucking shit in his face. The nurse woman riding a horse through a desert. You ever done that? Hmm? All I'm saying is we've got a lot to think about before Del Rio and the dam. And yes, that includes the fucking pilot. Bitch in the bar! Don't even try it. I'll shred you with this before you turn around in there. Now come on, move, let's go. Gary, what is this? Game of charades? Huh? <laughs> you look cow. Huh? Gary, I want you to move for me. Mm. Mm. Gary, if you don't move for me, I'm gonna brand you. There's someone else here. It's not just Eden and me. What you talking about, Gary, Gary? He's hiding in the trailer, in the kitchen closet. You don't believe me, ask her. That's who took the keys from the plane. All right, I'm through fucking around. Get your fucking ass out of there now! God damn it, Gary, get your...
say there's someone out there? Well, we're gonna find out. Hey, on guard! Bring that woman out here! Now! On guard! You hear me? We're gonna get to the bottom of this! I'm tired of this shit! What the hell is this? Wait till you hear what this piece of shit just told me. Tell him. There's somebody here besides her. What was that? There's somebody else here. A ranch hand or somebody. He's hiding in the kitchen. What's he talking about? I don't know. But we're gonna find out. Hey, hey, we need her. For what? To patch up McBride, pisshead number one, please. If there's someone here, he's with her. Not with Gary Gary. He doesn't give a shit about Gary Gary. We need her to lead us out of here, mate. We go 20 miles that way. We don't need an atlas to get there. All right. Who's ever out there? Who's ever watching us? I'm calling your bluff. If you don't show yourself right now, I'm going to put a bullet where spine meets skull. On guard. Put 10 seconds on the clock, please. Ted. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Five seconds left. You better be right about this, Gary Gary, or she's gonna die for no good reason. Five. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> you fucking maniac! You ask before you shoot someone! Oh, yeah? We don't have time for this, friend. There's company coming. Yeah. I got eyes too, lunatic. Who is that? I think it's Billy and Sam coming to play some gin rummy. Like I said earlier. What are we doing? Let's dump in the rig. <laughs> Listen, you get behind the tower, I'll hide in the barn. When I get out, we'll gun them down. Don't kill my friends. Please. I'll get rid of them. Just let us play some cards and, and drink a little bit. And then I'll get rid of them. We can get on the horses and be out of here in an hour. Fuck the horses. There's a truck coming down the driveway. No, 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 no. We're not changing our minds. You wanted horses, you got them. You do that again, I'll shoot you myself. Listen. Do what you gotta do. Play your little game, drink your fucking drinks, and they're gone. And put them in the house. Looks like Omaha Beach in there. And we'll be watching you. You say anything about anything, we'll gun them down. And that's on you! Come on! And with the kid looked up, we should take the truck. Of course we're taking the truck, 100%. I told her what you wanted to hear, which is what you tell them. Hey, that's my spot. Get behind the couch. Hello, little lady. Looks like you got our message in any case. Howdy, boys. Not many folks I'd want to see two times in as many hours. <laughs> Oh, this guy hit every pothole on the way in here. Oh, you You're rolling, up. baby. <laughs> you shut up. Exactly. I've been driving since I was 12. <laughs> yeah, you could have fooled me. Hey, look what we brought. <sighs> I can always count on you boys. Follow me and we shall have beer. Yes. All right. Oh. Now, I didn't mention this earlier, but I have been having a serious cockroach problem in that trailer oh, over sure. there. Smoking them out with some poison gas and shacking up in the old house since yesterday. Shacking up. Huh? Hope you fellas don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, Eden, we don't mind. Oh. No, as long as you're ready to lose. Yeah, back at you. you Want to do some strip poker? <laughs> Loosen up those buttons, baby. Okay, Billy, <laughs> you mind yourself. 
Of course, I'm always glad and shit to see you scoundrels, but really shouldn't be playing more than three, four hands right now. Figured that'll give us enough time to drain these bottles. Ain't no problem, little lady. If uh, half hour's what you got, half hour's what we'll take. You needing to fix up a fence? Is that about it? That's it, truly. Having a hell of a time finishing the job. All sorts of distractions. Just ain't never enough time. Never enough. Well, that's it for me, boys. How about you? What's the news? Well, we were fit to fight a fire today, but we're sorely disappointed. Well, what does that even mean? You want an out-of-control inferno? Only good forest fire ain't no forest fire at all. And that's just what we got. There ain't no real danger around here. No real threat. Oh, yeah? Why don't you tell Eden all about the Haskells? <laughs> There's some action. Uh-oh. Hank and Maggie. <laughs> you tell them. On our way back, figured we'd stop off by Turkey Creek, give the campsites a little once-over. Sure enough, Haskells are there. Big-ass RV taking up all that space. So I say to Hank, you can't be here longer than 14 days stretch. He and Maggie, they just up and leave. No problem. That's it. That's your story? Hell no. No sooner they leave, we realize they've been dumping their black water not ten feet from the creek bit. Guess they never got them valves fixed. Can you believe that? Dumping their greasy goddamn shit tank basically right where the fresh water is. Forest fire don't sound so bad after something foul as all that. <laughs> Tell you what, forget about that fence. Let's hit up Millie's. Sing some of the boss at karaoke. All you gotta do is hop in your truck now. Love to Sam. That bucket's been giving me hell again. I've been dying for good enough today. Well, how you know I know engines. All you have to do is ask. Boys, I appreciate the help, but I know how to handle myself. That's nonsense. We're here right now. What are you gonna wait for a mechanic to come all the way out of here? Sam. It ain't necessary, come on now. Pick up your cards, let's keep playing and drinking. Come on, Eden, you can't expect me to just sit here when there's work out there that needs to be done. You're afraid of losing. Your tools are still in the truck? Have another drink. Come on now. I can make it just you know, get, get a blanket and help me soak up the blood. I just, I, if I can make it to the hospital. Oh, there it is. Now, Duke. Just you and me now, Eden.
Holy hell. Brick Road. <laughs> oh! Where is he? Don't know what you're asking. Package deal now, Eden. Like Hansel and Gretel following the breadcrumbs. <laughs> you lead the way, Gretel. There's only 22 known copies of this in the whole world. Whoever gets their hands on it will get up to $3 million for it. Just don't seem fair, but with us doing all the work and all. Who's going in first? I'll rock, paper, scissors for it. Oop. I win. Ooh, cold shoulder. After you. Go on. <laughs> Think of it like this, Eden. You're the king's servant, and you're tasting the food to make sure it's not poison. I'm the king in that scenario.
You're doing a noble service, Eden. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Hold up. Doggone it, I'm forgetting my own rules. We're a package deal, Eden. But you are going in first. Take that light. feeling you were more of a Bob Seeger kind of guy. With all due respect, sir, kindly put your weapon down on the ground. Hmm. Well, you have got me between a rock and a hard place, sir. That's the idea. Hmm. Sounds like we have a draw. Who the hell are you? 